Hey guys, it's Lumi. Welcome back to my video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning subscriber, you know the vibes. As you guys know, I'm a rising sophomore. So today I'm gonna be doing freshman advice for upcoming freshmen. And this is gonna be a HBCU edition. I know I haven't been active enough, but um, it's summertime and I really, I'm not gonna say I don't have anything to do, but I do have stuff. I have work, you know? But I also feel like, you know, I should get back on my YouTube game because, you know, I just left you guys hanging for so long. Like, well, I'm back. So there are five major factors that I'm going to be talking about today. First one is your housing slash living situation. So as a freshman in college, you have a lot of freedom because you, you don't live with your mom and dad anymore. You live by yourself. So the first thing I would say is be the first to move into your dorm because, like, if you're the first to move into your dorm, you get to pick whatever side you like better and you also like get to arrange the room how you want to and whoever your roommate is gets to like you know adjust to however you put the room so whoever gets there first gets the better side and you know just get whatever they want first so i felt like you know get to your dorm first get there first and arrange your room however you want it okay build a relationship with your roommate have a good relationship with your roommate make sure you have like at least be able to talk and communicate with your roommate in my case it wasn't like that at least at first it was like that me when i first got into college i didn't have a roommate till like i didn't have a roommate for like a good month she wasn't there for a month so i, I had the room to myself for a month at least at first, I thought I didn't have. I'm not. I wasn't gonna have a roommate, but I ended up having a roommate, and you know, we we had our, you know, you know, no, it wasn't fun. I didn't. I'm not gonna come up here and say I didn't. Well, I mean, how am I gonna put this in a very respectful way? Cause I'm I'm not a mean person, you know. We didn't really we didn't really get along. We had issues along the way, and that's okay, because you could easily get a roommate change. But in my case, it was already too late to get a roommate change, because you know. But I already seen the signs from when she first came, because you know, every time, I feel like I should make a whole nother video about this, because I'm just gonna jump into the fact that me and my roommate weren't really, mm, we didn't really click, you know. But yeah, build a build a relationship with your roommate, you know. Cause that's the, that's the person you sleep with you should have a good relationship with your roommate you feel me okay build a relationship a good relationship with your ras because they are the people who you go to when you have when you have problems with your with your room and your roommate and also like some most of the times i usually like misplace my key or like i don't know where it is at the moment so i usually go to my ra to help me open open the door in case my roommate's not in the room so like make sure you have a good relationship with your ra so like you could talk to them so they could know your name you know because you know they're the ones in charge of the the resident you're in right also have friends in the building you're, you live in because as a freshman there's different dorms so like dorm a dorm b dorm c if you're in dorm a dorm b or dorm c whatever dorm you're in have friends that are in the same dorm as you because most of my friends were did not live in the same dorm i, I was in so I guess that's a it doesn't matter but like you know just have friends in the same dorm as you because sometimes it really gets it gets like really boring if you're in your dorm and you don't have any friends in your dorm and you have to go to all the way to your friend's dorm just to like you know talk to somebody or like be like you know you feel me so it's just like you know have friends in your own dorm because that's a that's a plus so another key point for this is have don't depend on your roommate for anything like let's say you're coming to the dorm and you're like oh yeah i already know my roommate's gonna bring the 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 shower the shower supplies like the shower curtain the shower mat you're sharing stuff with your roommate no get your own stuff if yes you might have a roommate who you um agree with and get stuff with but at the same time don't depend on your roommate make sure you have it in the back of your head that yeah like you know you're gonna get your own stuff not like you're gonna be depending on someone else to get stuff for you you feel me okay get a lock for your 
for your um wardrobe whatever 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 um place your college assigns you to keep your clothes get a lock for it because i my roommate in my situation there was one time i walked in my room and she was in my closet If you guys want a story time of roommate experience, just let me know. Because I would be glad. <laughs> I would be glad to um, show you guys um, and tell you guys what went down. Because it was horrible. Like, literally, she was in my closet. Yeah. Get a lock for your get a lock for your, for your your wardrobe to keep your stuff tight and, and locked away, you know? Second key point, classes. At the end of the day... Whatever you came to college for, you came to college to get your degree, to study, and to get your to get your work straight. Don't pick any classes before 10 a.m., babes. I'm telling you right now, I had um uh I actually at 10 a.m. That was the earliest I took classes. At 10 a.m., sometimes I wouldn't make it. Yes, it might seem like what why would you make it 10 a.m it's just 10 o'clock you go to college when you're in high school you 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 you're at school at like 8 30. your first class starts at 8 30. you're already awake by six o'clock seven o'clock but in college it's not going to be the same trust me you don't want an eight o'clock class you don't want a nine o'clock class because you're not going to make it you're like you're not going to make it like it's just there's a lot of things that just happens and you just you're just not going to make it sometimes you just don't have the motivation to get up by six to be ready by eight that's just crazy so don't pick any classes before 10 a.m 10 a.m could be the like you know borderline you feel me have your classes back to back make sure your classes are back to back because that's what i did and it was really um convenient for me because i wouldn't because some of my friends they had class like at 10 o'clock and then their next class would be at 2 a.m and then their next class would be at 5 p.m why would you want that that's like different it's just it's just like you know it doesn't really uh no if your classes were for like 10, 11, 1, 2, you have classes back to back. So that's easy. You just go to your classes right after they're done. You go to the next class right after they're done. You go to the next class. And then you go back to your dorm, do your work, and then you're done for the day. But why would you want to have class from 10 o'clock and then you wait 2 o'clock and you wait 5 o'clock? No. And that also comes with registering for classes early if you register for classes early you're going to have good classes and you're going to have classes you want because i'm telling you in college if you wait to say oh yeah i'm not going to register yet. i'm just going to register right, right after no right when the slots open to register for classes make sure you register for classes because they're not playing these people are not playing with you register for your classes right away okay and also to register for classes make sure you use rate my professor because these professors they don't care about you let me just be honest with you they're just here to teach and get their money so half the time they don't even teach right but let's just let's just put that aside for now but just use rate my professor to pick your teachers because yeah you're gonna know which one gives a lot of work you're gonna know which one gives less work you're gonna go know which teachers grade their students like you know good and which one just gives gives out bad grades so rate my professor is going to be good for you to um pick whichever professor you you like because they're going to be comments from past students and stuff so make sure you do your homework right after class or like just do your homework during the week weekdays because during the weekends babes trust me come closer you're not gonna do it you're not gonna do your homework during the weekends trust do your homework right after class do your homework during the weekdays because during the week weekends party that that's literally all i'm trying to be honest with y'all right now like that's literally all that's gonna that's gonna be occupied in your head and you don't want to be one of those who, who just don't do their work you have to do your work at the end of the day you came to college to do your work to get your degree you can't have party stuck in your head but no one's saying you shouldn't party because you you could party. But make sure you get your work done. You feel me? Get your work done. Make sure you email your professors. Because this is not high school where you could go talk to your professor. Right? Like literally after class when you go talk to your professor, you could do that. But most of the time they don't have time to talk to you right there. Sometimes they have like, um, 
hours where you could go talk to them and also you could email them email them for any problems you have your homework doesn't look like the grade he gave you doesn't look right for what you did email him whatever is going on email your professors email your professors and be nice so you can have a good relationship with them and you know they could read you right you feel me keep a whiteboard in your dorms to set out your week if you i didn't have a whiteboard but i feel like i should have had a whiteboard most of the people i knew had a whiteboard it's like just you know a whiteboard have a whiteboard to um um set your week out like monday you do this tuesday you do this have a whiteboard to set your week out to make your um week planned out and nicely and go easy um build a good relationship with your freshman advisor your freshman advisor is the one person you're gonna go to for almost every single thing for your housing for your classes for anything any problems you're having go to your freshman advisor your freshman advisor you're gonna go hand in hand with your freshman advisor also hbcus as you know with financial aid they always lack with that make sure you're on your schools they're gonna play with you baby let's say you um what's it called it was time to um it's time to get your refund checks and they're playing with you everyone else got the refund check and you didn't get your refund check make sure you email the school make sure you email your your um the school your college advisor whoever email you have to email email them because they're not they're not going to come to you babes you have to go to them because if you if you have a problem and you expect them to like know you have a problem it doesn't work like that if you have a problem go to them about the problem email them about the problem and they'll help you with the problem half the time because you know yeah also always show up to your in-person classes trust me as easy as it sounds it's hard for people always show up to your in-person classes if you have online classes those are the best trust because waking up for classes is so hard sometimes i understand because there, there's a lot of times where I missed my um, 10 o'clock class. Like, as, like, 10 o'clock. It's, like, 10 o'clock, bro. You have mad time. As easy as it sounds, sometimes it's so hard as a college student to make it to your 10 o'clock classes. So, just make sure you just make it to all your classes in person. Because, you know, some teachers count attendance and all that. So, make sure you make it to your 10 o'clock classes. So, change. There's going to be a big change for you when you're going to college. So, most of the time in college, you have a lot of free time. So, don't waste your time slacking away in your dorm like you have nothing to do. Pick up a hobby. You're in the HBCU. Learn how to do hair. Learn how to do nails. Learn how to do lashes. Shit, learn how to wax. Learn how to do anything. Learn how to cut hair if you're a boy. Learn how to do something with your time. Because at an HBCU, your talent can't go wasted shit make a clothing brand i know a lot of people who have clothing brands in my hbcus and you know people support them like just you know do something with your time don't just be like don't be useless and just stay in your dorm all day and you, you just claim you have nothing to do and make friends go outside and make friends because sitting in your dorm is not going to make you any friends trust me you have to go outside and make friends you feel me so yeah the the friends you make the first week of college is not going to be some friends you leave on the end of the semester because sometimes you know you just don't click with the same people you start to know their real behavior because when people come from different places and come together as a friend group in college you you when you first meet people it's like you know good vibes you know you you, just, you don't know them for real you just you just got to meet them it's like hey girl you know like you're just still in the happy moment but when you get to know these people you live with these people you get to know like i don't really click with this girl like i don't really click with this boy so you you get to know like you know your standpoint on the type of friends you're gonna have so if you don't click with somebody you don't have to force yourself to be there you know be open this is your life this is your this is your like you know this is your life make sure you tell you you know communicate with people and make sure like you know yeah we're not really in the same you know so you move on with your life you don't have to be friends with people you don't feel like you need to be friends with if they if they're fake to you and they um they show you things that like oh yeah i don't really i don't really click with this person it's okay just move on and don't be don't be friends with weird people because in college there's going to be a lot of weird people you know a lot of people who have no home training and like you know they just act anyhow you know um 
don't be afraid to make or lose friends like go outside and make friends trust there's a lot of people this is not high school where you just sit in the corner and expect friends to come to you or like just like no go out and make friends trust it's not it's not it's not hard it's not hard it is hard it is I'm, it, it is hard to make friends but like, you know just go out and make friends you're gonna make friends literally just go out and make friends also if you if you have a car use your car wisely okay because i know a lot of people who have cars who get used for having a car also um yeah if you have a car you could because this is one problem with people who have cars they always have problems with people like using them for their car so like if you have a car use your car wisely know your real friends and you know don't just tell everyone you have a car because most people would like to use you for your car so you know just use your car wisely okay yeah don't spend too much money use your money wisely because freshman year first week of school i can say the first month of school that i know most people like splurge like and you're, you're getting your money from your mom and dad only if you have like a business where you you create your own money right or you work and you have your own money but at the same time use your money wisely because you you in college it's something you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna need you're gonna need money so use your money wisely don't spend don't go to parties that pay like twenty fifty dollar for a party no don't do that because all these parties are the same trust you're not missing out on nothing okay um the cat food the cat food is going to be your best friend i understand you like to buy mcdonald's you like to buy wendy's you like to buy chipotle the cat food is you're going to be your best friend because have that behind your head you're paying for the cat food at the end of the day you're paying for the cat food so make sure you you have fun with the cat food and have fun with mcdonald's because i'm over here talking about some half of the cat food half the time i spent money on outside food but you know you learn you live the cat food is going to be your best friend trust um there's a lot of culture shock like, i was culture shocked because like I, I went to an HBCU, you know, as you can see. Um, I came from a, like, a predominantly white high school. So, it was really, like, a culture shock to me. Because, like, this is, like, I was around a lot of black people. And I go to school in Maryland. So, it was a lot of Africans. There's a lot of Africans in Maryland. And I'm African. So, it was, like, a lot of culture shock for me. Like, I even learned more about myself. So, it's, like, you know, I feel like if you're black, it's good to go to HBCU. Because, you know, you get to learn a lot of stuff with the culture. It's just the culture, the vibe. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just good. It's just good vibes where you need to have, you know. So, go to HBCU. Go to your HBCU. You feel me? Go to HBCU. Okay. So, yeah. The fourth PowerPoint. Parties. The parties are overrated, let me not lie to you. The kickbacks are cool, calm. But at the end of the day, parties are overrated. Don't be that one person that goes to every single party, every single event. Because that's crazy. Why would, why would you want to go to every single... I mean, that's you. At the end of the day, you still have to live your life. It's you. It's your choice to do, do that. But it's not really wise to go to every single party because once you do that you realize all the parties are the same it's going to be the same people the same party promoters the same everything the same music same 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 so you know just go to parties like once once every every two weeks once every month you know just just don't over party yourself because that's not it's not really i understand yeah you get a lot of freedom a lot of exposure don't overwhelm yourself with parties because they're 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 cool they're gonna be there trust you're not missing out on anything trust me you're not missing out on anything okay so make sure you drink and smoke responsibly that's all i have to say drink and smoke responsibly don't over because don't get peer pressure to doing things you don't want to do because at the end of the day it's college these things happen so make sure you do it responsibly okay okay don't take homecoming for granted babes homecoming is where you see every single person who's never been on campus on campus people from back home their friends they're gonna come to homecoming everyone comes to homecoming right as a freshman i already knew about homecoming but like you know i didn't really know about homecoming so like it was really like 
overwhelming it wasn't really overwhelming but it was like a shock to me because like now i know what to do better for next year and as incoming freshmen i could tell you guys what to do better like you know that's when you have to put on your best fit like you know like you know homecoming everyone's there there's gonna be like artists performing it's just it depends on your school so like just don't don't miss out on homecoming you know you can't miss out on homecoming you feel me don't take it for granted yeah everyone is outside for homecoming literally dress cute and just comfortable for the parties um don't just be yourself and dress the way you want to dress dress cute comfortable you know dress cute and comfortable now for the last standpoint of view college as a whole your freshman year is going to be a lot, trust me. And your freshman year is going to be one of the best years you have in college. So I feel like as an incoming, um, incoming freshman from high school, incoming senior from high school, coming to, fresh, um, coming to college as a freshman, I feel like everyone has to go to college as a freshman. Go experience the, the freshman, just the freshman year, you know, just go experience experience freshman year because it's going to be a good year and a bad year for you well no i wouldn't say a bad year for you because you could have a good year but like you know just from my experience at the end of the day it's going to be one of the best years you have in college so make sure you live live every day in the moment okay so make really good memories and don't be in your dorm all day join campus activities campus like soror like whatever whatever you feel like fits your boat do that right but just don't slack away in the dorms doing nothing make sure you use your time wisely go to the cafe before you because you pay for the food because the cat food at as nasty and as it might be or good as it might be you pay for it at the end of the day so make sure you're eating the cat food okay don't spend your money on outside food a lot okay but you can treat yourself out sometimes you know but make sure you're eating the cat food go get up and eat the cat food don't starve in your dorm and order food all day okay okay do your work do your work because at the end of the day you came to college to get your degree you came to college to make your parents proud or make whoever in your life proud you know make yourself proud so at the end of the day as much fun as you have go to college for your work okay do not take college boys seriously they're boys in college trust me they came freshly from high from um from high school into college there's a lot a lot of things they, they need to experience so don't take that one boy serious because he's telling you this because he's telling this other girl the same thing okay take it take the advice right now don't take them seriously there's going to be grown men because as a freshman, there's going to be like, there, you, you're, you're, you're getting to a certain stage in life where you're, you know, getting up there. There's freshman boys, sophomore boys, junior boys, senior boys, and they're all going to come at you. Trust me, babes. They're all going to come at you. So it's up to you to, you know, level it out. Don't take these boys seriously because they're, they're just nothing but jokes and pick games. Okay. But you know do what's best for you at your own heart also go to school because you want to go to school don't go to school because your mom's telling you to go to school don't go to school because your dad's telling you to go to school i mean go to school because they're telling you to go to school but like go to school because you you want to go to school and you want to pursue a certain major you want to do you know don't be forced to do something you don't want to do at the end of the day it's your life you know go to college because you want to go to college and get that degree girl so that's it for this video i've had a lot to say and i hope you guys take some of this advice and use it for your upcoming freshman year and i hope you guys have a lot of fun make sure you have fun but not too much fun okay so yeah you guys like comment and subscribe see you guys in the next video